Yo, I'm on. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a beast. Beast. Oh my god, they don't fit in my net. I should have brought a bigger net. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, guys. So left Ocala today. Just got to Pensacola, Florida, here in the panhandle of Florida, meeting up with my buddy Greg Ammon here. So Greg, if you watched the last Field Trips Panama series, he was out there with us. That's where I met him. Greg's getting worked right now. I've been having a beating like this and someone stuck a banana down my pants and let a monkey loose. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was definitely going in the video. We got to talking while we were there and he mentioned that he had room for me to park the trailer. Now a few weeks later, here I am, keep my trailer on his property. Greg got one of the top five rooster fish ever caught at Los Buzos Resort. Monster fish. Some would argue number two. Some would argue number two. <laughs> Mine was a little bit Some bigger. Some would argue number three. Mine was a little <laughs> bit bigger, but uh, no need to get into the details. So we're not gonna waste any time. Just got here, the sun's about to go down. We're gonna go fishing. So Greg, what's our what's our plan? What are we gonna do? I think tonight we're gonna go out to uh, Three Mile Bridge, chase some bull reds, get some top water action, and see what we can get into. Top water bull reds, say no more. So this is my yeah. first time ever trying to do a video at night. Not really sure how <laughs> this is gonna work out. It's gonna be a learning <laughs> process. But Greg here's got video experience, he's got some lights. We're gonna be meeting up with a buddy of mine that I've been talking to online for years now. Haven't met him yet. Brandon Barton, he's got some lights. Yeah. So hopefully between the three of us, we can actually get some usable footage. Yeah, and he, he does quite a few videos at night. Yeah, Should Brandon does a lot of videos at night, so. Hopefully you guys are actually watching this right now, which meant that I got good enough footage to put a video together. We'll see. <laughs> So they're rebuilding this whole bridge. Yeah, they're rebuilding this whole bridge. And right now, this is like structurally uns unsuitable. Oh, good. But because they don't have anything else, we, we kind of got it. Here we are. But yeah, they had a big they had a boat ramp down here. I'm assuming the bridge is three miles long? Yeah. Three mile bridge? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my expert powers I'm of just deduction. deduction. <laughs> the bridge says it's but even the bridge is three mile bridge. I'm assuming it's I'll go out on a limb. Hey right. guys, got Brandon Barton here, just met up with him. What's up man? You ready to catch some fish? Yeah. Hey, what's up man? Matthew Van, sales and tells kite charters. Nighttime topwater bull reds got my attention. They said that if I turn my lights out, I'll actually be able to sight cast of these bull reds because they're hanging under the bridges and the lights that shine off the bridge. And so we're gonna be sight casting for bull reds in the dark. Should be a good time. Let's see if we can get on them. This light is dangerous. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Gotcha. A little blue crab. I just saw a dolphin. Porpoise, porpoise right there. I thought it was a shark at first, I saw the fin. Look at that, what is that? That's redfish. Right here, I'm still looking at it. Look, he's right there under my boat. Oh bro. <laughs> what? We've been out here two minutes. Don't eat like that. He didn't. He didn't spook at all, dude. He just casually went under my boat. All right, so let me apologize in advance. I'm gonna be squinting pretty much this whole video. The only way I can really get you guys to see me is have this light shining in my face. It's really kind of a pain. But uh, anyways, basic strategy right now. I already saw a redfish right under the surface. Matthew Van actually already hooked up. He hooked up, wasn't really expecting it. A line wrapped around his tip and it broke his rod like five minutes into the night. Uh, Greg just hooked up and it came off. So we've definitely seen some reds. They're definitely biting. Uh, we just have not got one of the boat yet, but basically we're kind of working this bridge, three mile bridge here in Pensacola Bay. And we're working both sides of it. There's lights. Some of the lights are brighter than others. So we're kind of focusing on the bright lights and uh, they're all throwing top waters to start. 
I'm starting off with this uh, little swim bait right here. I've seen some bait fish on the surface look just like this thing. So I'm throwing it out, not letting it sink at all. Just keeping it right under the surface. And I'm reeling it with the current. Typically fish are gonna be hunting and looking into the current, kind of staying still, sometimes behind the pylons, hiding from the current. But typically they're gonna be facing into the current. So you want your bait to come with the current so that it meets them head on instead of coming up from behind them. We'll see, I just ran over a redfish about a foot under my boat. It didn't spook at all, I'm guessing because it's dark. Didn't even know I was there. But he was right under the surface, so that's where I'm trying to keep my bait. Nice, Matthew Van already hooked up. Feel like a decent one? Yeah. I mean, well, he's, he's actually pretty small, but this is like basically a trout setup or an inshore red setup. Right. Nice. Looks like a decent fish. Matthew got it on his lighter setup. He actually sight cast to it. I watched him pitch his lure about five feet in front of his boat, and sure enough, it smashed it pretty much right away. Oh, yeah, there he was. Looks like a pretty big boy, man. It's a good fish. Here he comes, here he comes. Solid fish. Nice. Beautiful, dude. Nice fish, dude. Oh, look how she's lit up, man. Yeah, dude. Beautiful colors on her. It's got multiple spots. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Beauty, dude. Look at that thing. That is a healthy red. Nice fish. Crab came out of her mouth, look at that. Sales and Tails Kayak Charters, Matthew Van here, showing us how it's done. Sir, sight cast this baby. Got these little uh, crank of crabs from Australia. Little crank of crab from Australia. Well, it's hard to get out of the net, but you can see it. This it's, little thing, so maybe I should downsize, huh? Well, I was throwing that one right there at your foot, that one ounce, and uh, the problem is, is it's just getting down too fast. Right. And these fish are super spooky out here tonight, even though there's a bunch of them and they're cruising, they're feeding. They just, uh, I've put perfect cast after perfect cast with that bigger crab, and it's just sinking too fast. Gotcha. So this little guy right here just stays up in the water column. That is what we came for, man. This He's not a giant. Come nah, on, but that's what we're out here for. Redfish, that is a healthy red right there. Yeah, you can see she's all lit up with her with her bay colors here, Pensacola Bay colors. Beautiful. Lots of spots. Beautiful colors on her, man. Yep. So Matthew Van here just got uh, added to the NRS Fishing Ambassador team. So I wanted to come out here and fish with them. He's showing me how it's done right now. I gotta get one, man. That's yes, a nice sir, fish. Let's go get you one, man. We're gonna get a little release on her. You'll see these fish are super spooky. Oh, I can't there. even <laughs> can't even give you a release shot. <laughs> we got it. All right, thanks for coming, Nice Robert. fish, dude. Stoked to have you. Yeah. All right, we gotta get you one. Yep, I'm on. Oh yeah, got one. Got a fish on. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. I mean, I don't have them yet, but I should have them. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Reverse out of these pylons. So she didn't get me wrapped around them or smashed into them. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I was just asking if Matthew thought the swim bait would work. He said it would, and then uh, second cast after that, here it is. Uh, he's not giving up though. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, dude, nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> it's too big for the net. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a fish. Oh. Yep, that same little one I just showed you. Oh, look at that. Healthy fish. Oh, beauty. It ran through the pylons. I had to kind of chase it through, bobbing and weaving through those pylons, through this current, made for an absolute blast of a fight. Nice. Oh. And here is that little swim bait. Oh, he choked it too. Nice one. Yeah, dude. Well, we have not been here very long, and there's the first red on the board for Rob here. Matthew's got one, Brandon got one. We heard him hollering down the way under the bridge. 
Uh, just too much fun. Got it on a swim bait. I mean, I've made maybe 15, 20 casts. Yeah, they're chewing tonight. They've been a little bit spooky, but obviously they're eating. So much fun chasing this girl through the pylons. Oh man, that's a good time, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get some more. Let awesome. this girl go. Oh, there she goes. There she went, dude. <laughs> nice. What do you think, Robert? So much fun, man. Awesome, man. Get used to that. Yes, sir. Fish on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a beast. Beast. Oh god. Too big for the net. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Oh, oh. ow. There goes the lure. Absolute monster redfish. Look at that. I'm just blind casting this little swim bait. This Kitech swim bait. My buddy Matt Scotch put me on these baits for bass. Using them out here for redfish and hooking some studs. We're out here on a three mile bridge. Just wearing out the big redfish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Slamming this swim bait right now. I mean, I made three casts since I caught the last one. Already got another one. That is too much fun. These fish are bruisers. I could get used to this, man. Yes, sir. Let this girl go. What a fish, man. There she goes. Uh, that's two fish in the last like four or five casts. We can get back under the bridge, see if we can't get some more. I can do this till sunrise. Yep. I'm on. Fish out. Third fish. Feels like a pretty good one. I'm basically running this thing right under the surface. Seems like if I let it sink at all, I don't get bit. But as long as I, you know, start reeling as soon as it hits the water, keep it right under the surface, I'm giving it kind of the occasional twitch. That seems to be the ticket. Oh yeah. Digging hard, pulling drag. This is the Lama Glass PK724S, little eight to 17 pound test spinning setup. Super nice rod. Really sensitive, it's got plenty of backbone even though it's pretty light for this big a fish, these big bull reds. Oh yeah. Ripping drag. You gotta watch these pylons. Look at him. He's going back to it. Uh, oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Spinning me in circles right now. I gotta watch these pylons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Digging hard. Put this thing in reverse. Get away from this pylon. God, these fish are so strong. Starting to slow down now. There she is. Oh yeah, nice fish, another nice fish. Oh, I gotta get away from these pylons. Get her out of there. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're all studs. <laughs> oh my gosh, too much fun. Oh, under the boat, under the boat. Oh yeah. Uh, oh my God, they don't fit in my net. I should have brought a bigger net. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these fish, dude. No way. They're all monsters. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I mean, they're not getting smaller. This is uh, basically, turns out, about an average size fish for this place. I do not do a ton of night fishing, mostly because I can't really film at night. It's my first stab at it, so for all I know, I mean, hopefully this footage turns out. I really have no idea right now. But hopefully you guys can see this. You guys can see what we're getting into right now because this is too much fun. Oh my God, see that little white swim bait? Just slamming it. The key's been keeping it right under the surface. These guys are feeding on top. We're seeing them on top. Um, I mean, that's number three. They're all over slot, just massive redfish. Yeah, buddy. Uh, ow, 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 ow. 
God, these guys are tearing my thumb up. Let's get the hook out of this gal. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, I can't believe that. And there she goes. Can't believe these people live here. He's coming to the bridge and we're slaying the bull reds on artificials. Uh, none of the ones we've caught yet have been slot. They've all been over slot. Nothing but big fish here in Pensacola. Can't believe this place. All right, Brandon Barton here just hooked up. Kind of a uh, close quarters here, sorry, bro. <laughs> nice, solid fish, dude. I mean, mine was definitely bigger, but uh... <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Beautiful golden red fish. Dude, the colors on them here are ridiculous. All these fish are studs. Matthew's all like, eh, it's not that big of one. It's like a 34 incher. Look at that top water choke. Yeah, all the way down. Was it the whopper blobber? No, that's the live target bait ball top water. Look at that tail. Dude, she's like kind of rough. Chewed up. Yeah. Absolutely inhale the top water. That's the live target bait ball top water. They're all just like lit up. It's so pretty. Let this girl go. There she goes. Nice, dude. Love it every time. So much fun. Let's get it. I want some more, man. <laughs> yep, I'm on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's on the surface. Look at him thrashing. Yeah, fish out. Oh, 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 oh. There she is. Apparently they don't make any small redfish here in Pensacola. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, dude, one thing I've realized is that if I'm gonna fish here, I need a bigger net. Come on, girl. Uh, she is not giving up. Oh yeah, she doesn't like the net either. Woo! My net is too small. Yeah. Oh yeah, bull red number four. Oh, I just cannot get over this. I mean, like every single fish is over slot. They are all big fish. Let's let this girl go. There she goes. Yep, I'm on fish on. <laughs> This is absurd. Like bull reds have always been this like magical fish that's so hard to catch and like now it's just like... <laughs> oh, Pensacola sleigh ride. Oh, beauty. Wow, see this is like a small one at like 33 inches probably. Yeah, just a little guy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not as small as I thought. Dude, look at it. <laughs> Yeah! Come on. <laughs> no way! It's a beast! They're all big, dude. Like, what is this place? It's like freaking Oz in here, dude. This is crazy. This thing right here, y'all. That's the magic right there. That's the money. And that right there, ladies and gents, is redfish number five, bull red, over slot red number five. This place is just insane. They call this the pumpkin patch because we're catching pumpkins here in the dark. Unreal. My first ever night video, I'd say it's going pretty well. There is a healthy population of big stud redfish here under Three Mile Bridge in Pensacola, Florida. You guys have got to get down here and do this. You hit up Emerald Water Kayak Charters, with Brandon Barton and Sails and Tails Kayak Charters with Matthew Van, they're good buddies. And they get on these fish nonstop and they put their clients on them too. And tonight, them and Greg Amon brought me out here, promised me some big fish, told me there's no way I wasn't gonna catch any. I thought these guys were crazy. And here we are five bull reds later and I am a believer. Been out here about four hours, five bull reds in the boat, missed a few other bites. Whoo, Pensacola, Florida, I will definitely be coming back to this place. Unreal. All right, let this girl go. Oh my gosh, all these fish with this incredible color on them. Look at that, just beautiful. Oh, I can't believe that. 
All right, girl. Thanks for the ride. And there she goes. I cannot get over how much fun this place is. There's something just kind of eerie about catching big fish like that at night. These fish are dragging me all through the bridge, all around these pylons. I'm having to kind of weave through them, back out away from them. I can literally stay here until sunrise. Like, this is too much fun. Unfortunately, we gotta leave soon. Greg's got work in the morning. I've got a bunch of editing to get done in the morning. I gotta get caught up. Been on some incredible trips lately. But uh, we got about 30 more minutes. Go see if I can't get number six. <laughs> Yeah! Yep, I'm on. Yeah! Fish on! <laughs> I just saw him bust on the surface right here and threw the swim bait and sure enough, smashed it. Dude. Dude, <laughs> feels like a better fish. Rip and drag. Nice. Oh no! Uh, Came off. Uh, Dude, that felt like the biggest one of the night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not even mad. This is so freaking <laughs> awesome, dude. So awesome. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it. Greg's gotta get to work. He's my ride. We're gonna get out of here. It's about one in the morning now, but what an absolute blast here in Pensacola, Florida. Did not expect to wear out the fish like we did. Uh, we're out here about four hours. I got five bull reds to the boat. Uh, lost one that felt like the biggest of the night, but uh, just an incredible place. Uh, I just can't say enough about it. <laughs> this, is probably, this is easily the most fun I've ever had fishing at night. Uh, I don't do it very often because it's so tough for me to film, but I think I figured some stuff out tonight. So hopefully you guys will be seeing some more night fishing uh, content. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Comment below uh, what your favorite fish is to target at night and where you do it. And maybe when I roll through your town, we can get together and do a night fishing video together. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I already want to come back out here tomorrow night. <laughs> Dude, Greg? Yep. That was a blast, bro. Awesome. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Too much fun, man. Brandon, good to finally meet you, dude. We've been yes, talking sir. online for years. It's good to finally get out here. I see all these pictures, been jealous for years, so. Glad you could get on. Blast man. to come out here and experience the pumpkin patch. That's it. Yeah, I would not be upset if this was my home waters. Hey, this is sweet right here. It wasn't on fire tonight, but you were playing. Yeah, it wasn't on fire. I got five bull res the boat, lost two others. Just Lost imagine, the biggest one of the night. Yeah, imagine when it is on fire. How many yeah, no, nah, I can't imagine, dude. I've never been like, oh, this lure is working a little too good. I'm going to try top water because I'm like, this is a little too easy right now. <laughs> that is a new it's one like, for I me. I don't understand what the big deal is, guys. Yeah, redfish are always, have always been this like majestic fish that you got to work hard for. And like here, they're just everywhere. I couldn't believe it. You got to come back and do tarpon with them. Yeah, man, tarpon's my great white buffalo. Got to get one. The, the great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. Here you go. The pumpkin patch delivered.